What up, what up, what up, it's your boy Mr. Vaughn, Mr. Vaughn's channel, Sweatbox, we back, we live, we active here on the channel, yes indeed, you know how we do, oh, still, <clears throat> dodging those digital jabs, you know how we do, we still active, baby, ah back from Vegas, man, I know it feels like it's been a minute, but like I said, I'm active in these streets, just got back from Vegas, back in time to watch the first episode of Loki. And that's what we're here to talk about. This episode one of Loki. Vegas videos is coming, so you stay, stay locked to the to the ch to the channel, to the travel vlogs for the Vegas videos. But let's talk about some Loki. Episode one. Glorious purpose. I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. It's one of my favorite lines that he's ever said. So I love that this episode was named after that. So, um, spoiler review, by the way. We're going to talk about some spoiler shit. Um, what I liked about this series, what I liked about this episode. First of all, we pick up right at the end of Endgame. Not at the end of Endgame, but at the scene in Endgame where he steals the Tesseract, which is what we figured. He, and then he ends, so he still, we see that. And there's a little stuff that I like. There was a different cut of the, uh, of Captain America saying... Of, of of Loki pretending to be Captain America, it was he was very he was more robotic when he said the line this time, and I felt like that was an outtake from one of the uh, yeah from one of the uh, a deleted scene or something because I feel like I've seen that part before. It definitely wasn't the version from the Endgame movie. Um, and there's the scene if you look when he's closing up the Tesseract, you can see you can see uh, Ant Man running up Iron Man's arm. It's dope. I love the little continuity shit like that. I'm a nerd for shit like that. I'm I'm here for all of that. So, uh, I'm already digging this series. But, uh, <clears throat> what I'm loving, Tom Hiddleston as Loki is just phenomenal. He just, he's so good at this character. He is, no matter how long it's been since he's played him, he instantly slides right back into that group. And this is what I like about this Loki. Because of the timelines, this is only 2012 Loki. So, this is the Loki that just got smacked up by the Avengers. This ain't the Loki that fought with his brother against the Dark Elves. This ain't the Loki that fought with his brother on a on a on a on the garbage planet. You know what I'm saying? In in Ragnarok, this ain't that. This ain't that Loki. This ain't the Loki that gets murdered by uh, Thanos. So, this is a different Loki, and I love that he played him that way, and I love that we get to see him play him that way. And as soon as I saw that, as soon as that, uh, and oh, Owen Wilson plays uh, Morbid Morbius. Morbius, 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 I think it's Morbius, Morbius or Morbius, it's not Morbius, I think it's Morbius, um, he's great, I mean, when he, you know what I'm saying, Owen Wilson, I love him, I love him, he's perfect for this role, and the way he, the way he, the banter back and forth with him and Loki, and the way he goats Loki, I like that, I really like that, um, they also have my, uh, the girl from, um, if you guys saw um, Lovecraft Country, and the girl who plays, um, what's her name's, um, the girl who plays Journey Smollett's sister, she's in this as like the main agent. Uh, yeah, Wumi, uh, Wumi, I can never pronounce her name because she was also in something else we just saw recently, but I can't pronounce her name, but she's in it. And she, I like her character in that first episode, she's good. Um, but what I liked about this first, there's so much tie-ins, there's so many things going forward. They introduce so many things with the time variance, with the TV, what is it, the TVP, the time variance, agency, TVA, time variance, agency, something like whatever it is. They, but they they just they introduce so many different things that you can see that are going to come out in uh, Ant-Man, Quantumania, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, Spider-Man, uh, No Way Home. I mean, it's just going to be nuts. And this is setting up so much stuff. Um, I love the scene when he first gets there and he's trying to figure out what's going on. And they're just like, yeah, bro, whatever. We're not taking you that seriously. When she first puts the collar on him when he's there, when they got him out in the desert, ooh, that was a good scene. He's all slow mo. She's like, yeah, this shit's going to be hurting. I love it. It was, it was dope. Um, The way that they're telling this story, at least from the first episode, you can tell that this is going to be a lot of multiple watches of episodes because you're going to have to 
what? What? How many? Yesterday? I'm watching all kind of YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? My guys over at New Rockstar, Emergency Awesome, uh, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, screen Rant, Screen Junkie, Screen Crush. <laughs> you got a screen, I'm watching your videos with your theories. My man Tyrone Magnus. Have I watched Tyrone Magnus? I don't think Tyrone Magnus has done one yet. Uh, Real Rejects, uh, you know what I'm saying? I love those guys. So, um, But yeah, just all the guys that I'm watching to get clues because I'm not... This is part of the, I don't know nothing about the time. Variant. I feel you know what I'm saying. I feel like that whole area where he, where they're at with like the infinite universe and all the clocks and everything with the big statues holding up and all that. I feel like we've got a form of that in the uh, in the uh, X Men episode uh, in the X Men series. We remember when they were fighting Apocalypse through time and. Uh, they was uh, doing a bunch of crazy stuff with Cable, and it was crazy, and they, they had to keep going through time to get Apocalypse. I felt like they was doing something like that. That They went to an area like that in, um, in, that, uh, in that series, and I felt like that whole universe was kind of like something like that, but I'm not sure, because I don't know much about the TVA. So this is all kind of new to me. So uh, we'll see where this ends up playing out, but I really like the chemistry between Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston, Loki and uh, Mobius. That was really good. Um, the way he just kept poking and prodding Loki. So what was your purpose? What were you going to do if you took over Earth? What were you going to do? King of space? You going to be king of space? And then I love, obviously, Loki being the trickster that he is. He's going to find a way to try to get out of there. I love the scene where he runs up on the dude. He's like, hey, I know you. You're that criminal with the blue cube. <laughs> He said, like, what's it called? The Tesseract. That sounds stupid. He's like, give it back to me. He opens the drawer. There's just a ton of Infinity Stones in there. Like, Infinity Stones mean nothing here. We, yeah, we use them as, he literally says, we use them as paperweights. Um, but when he was like, hey, give me the funeral. I'll gut you like a fish. He said, what's a fish? You don't know what a fish is? I need to, I need to know what level of threat this is. <laughs> that was all. That was just a great scene. I loved all of that. Uh, and then when he put the, when he put the, uh, with the little time switchy thing on old girl and was messing with her, that, that was good. I like that. You know what I'm saying? And then the scene, and then when, when Owen Wilson sits down with him and shows him, uh, the scene of him making the choice about that gets his mother killed. I was like, yeah, show him that. Are you going to show him his death? Are you going to show him his death? That's what I knew. I was like, immediately, I was like, are you going to show him his death? And then when he goes back to the room, I immediately I was like, yes, he's gonna see his death. But it was that was a that was a really good scene. That entire scene was really good. The scene of him, you know, saying realizing he got his mother killed, the scene of him seeing his father die, the scene of him seeing him and Thor fighting side by side, and then to see him get killed, to see his to see his own death. It was that was that was it. He was just like, I can't go back, can I? He was like, No, bro, you're dead. <laughs> so that was great. It's going to be interesting to see where this plays out. I love the fact that they showed the clip of him messing with time when they were going through all the stuff he did. And they showed him as D.B. Cooper. <laughs> that was great. That was great. I love that. That was pretty funny. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm really digging this. I know there's a ton of stuff that I'm not covering at the end of it. How we get the other... Uh, the introduction we get to Morbus. Uh, Morbius. Morbus. Where he's hunting the other, that somebody's killing off the Minutemen, and then we get that scene at the end, and then he's like, yeah, the person who's killing these Minutemen is you. We need you to help catch you. I'm like, uh oh, how are we going to do this? I want to know. I'm intrigued. So that's basically my review of uh, episode one of Loki. I'm into it. I want to know where we're going to go. Uh, if there's something that I missed to touch on, I'm sure there's stuff I forgot, because I'm not good at this. I don't take notes. I try to go off my memory, and my memory sucks. But uh, I really liked the episode. Like I said, my favorite thing about this was the chemistry between Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson. My favorite scene was the scene of him seeing his death. He played that so good. I mean, you got to give Tom Hiddleston some credit. He's a really good actor. He played that scene very, very well. He played that scene very well. I really enjoyed that. Um... So let me know what you guys think of episode one of Loki. Leave your comments below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click those notifications so you know when I upload. And uh, keep it locked, man. Like I said, 
just got back from Vegas. We got a bunch of Vegas videos coming in the vacation in the travel vlog channel. Keep it locked here for I'll be doing weekly episodes for Loki. Uh, and we got other stuff coming. We back, we here, we ain't gone nowhere, but we you know what I'm saying we still here. Holla at your boy. Until next time, you know how we do. Peace. I'm the girl. Right. To the ends with you. I'm a girl. To the end with you, I'm a girl